Hi everybody, I'm Mike Riley, librarian and cataloger here at the AACA Library in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And today we're going to talk about the Tom Girard Classic Auto Collection. Tom Girard is an AACA member and classic car collector, and he has donated to us on loan, like many of our other collections, over 2,700 items. Uh, these items include everything from sales literature to shop manuals, data books, dealer albums, advertisements, and much, much more, all relating to classic cars, basically American cars from 1950s to the 1960s. Um, as you can see here, the collection is mostly stored in these archival boxes, and inside of those, items are stored in Mylar sleeves. Along with this collection, it, can, it contains, like I said, uh, 1950s to 1960s American cars, everything from Fords, Pontiacs, Chevys, Dodges, Packards, we even have a box of, on the Amphicar, which was the half boat, half car. After receiving and cataloging these materials, we then digitized this in the greater part of about eight months, Chris and myself. Uh, and if you would like to see those items, uh, you could view them on site, or you can contact us here at the library. We can set up something for you to view them. Uh, that basically covers the majority of the collection. So now we're gonna grab a couple pieces to take a closer look at. All right, so now we're going to take a look at four of the pieces that I pulled from the Girard collection. First off, we have this 1957 Cadillac electric shaver. It even comes complete with an adapter to use in your car's cigarette lighter so you can shave when you're running late for work. There's also a great deal of data books spread out through the collection. Data books contain a vast amount of detailed information and technical data. This one here is from a Packard and Clipper models of 1956. As you can see, it has everything from information on just the general Packard to information on Clipper models to detailed, te detailed technical information on the engine, which provides a uh, technical data, specifications. It also has a section on the new Ultramatic push button transmission, as well as sections on the suspension. The chassis. and the body. This data book even has sections on accessories, including the Packard air conditioning. Now these data books contain all sorts of facts and specifications that can be very useful when researching a car. Mr. Girard also has quite the collection of dealer showcase albums. This one here is for a 1956 Chevrolet model. So these dealer albums would have pages dedicated to specific models that would contain specifications and options available for them. The albums also contain sections for the color and fabric interior options. This one here gives you the option to see not only the colors that are available, but it has this pretty neat plastic transparency to give you the different two-tone combinations using this transparent overlay. So here we can see how it would look with, say, the Pinecrest green background and maybe the 210 yellow top. So then that would show you the, the different options that you could try. Maybe you didn't like that yellow top and you wanted to try blue. And as I said earlier, it also has fabric selections. And these would give you the different options for different models.
And last but not least is another fun piece, which is this 1958 Ford product information box. This box will be sent out to dealerships to provide new training information for the new models. A lot of times these would contain everything from sales literature, such as these. Here's another one on the station wagons. It's a little information booklets, pocket facts, even an owner's manual, even down to service booklets. Another interesting thing that these usually had was for both salesmen and service workers was these little film strips. Now here we have film strips uh, titled The Car That's Showing the World, Selling Talk, Servicing the cruise o -Matic on the 1958, and the 1958 Car and Truck Service Features. And these also come with vinyl records that would play along with the film strips to give you audio. So there's a look at some of the more interesting pieces. If you want to get any more information about these items, uh, give us a call or email and we'll get back in touch with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.